Well there we have here what is this device to which, we are going to be able to recover in a very easy and very simple way. This device has a screen lock and we are not going to use the PC. We are going to use a method totally without a PC to be able to recover our device. What are we going to do? Well, we always recommend watching the step-by-step -step video tutorial so that you can solve what is this. Problem of the screen lock of our device EH what we are going to do previously. EH this method worked when we pressed the power button. Volume down button at the same time. We touched the screen and when the device restarted. We released the volume down button while holding the volume up button. Then our device restarted and showed us what the log was. Or on the screen when that logo appeared we released the power button while holding the volume up button so we could enter what is recovery mode. But with these new updates these devices are no longer working. Well for those devices that are no longer working we have an alternative to be able to recover and be able to enter what is that recovery mode. Very easy and very simple, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to use what is another additional device. We are going to use another phone. It does not matter the brand. It does not matter the brand, what model it is. And but what we are going to use is a USB-C cable that has the same port. This is already very common since EH when we buy. A new device they always come with what are these? Two USB-C cables. So what we are going to do is first connect the cable here. In the other phone and in this other phone we are going to connect it. We connect it. But we are going to see that it shows us charging. It seems that it shows us charging here. If it shows you charging on the other phone what you have to do is flip the tip. Flip it to the other side and as you can see they are already showing us. Loading. Now we will do the same process. Press the power button, volume down button at the same time. We touch the screen to see when the device restarts. When the device restarts we release the volume down button. Holding the power button. We will hold it, this can be restarted 2-3 to three times. It does not matter, when the Samsung shows you here it shows you the logo on the screen. Count 5 seconds and release the power button holding the volume up button. You are not going to disconnect it. You will have it connected when we will be able to enter what is to this recovery mode. When we are in recovery mode, now what we are going to do is go down. Go down where it says WIP data factory reset with the power button we select. Go down and give it where it says factory data res. Set with the power button, ready. Now what we are going to do is hit it with the power button, the first option. This is so that our phone can restart. Finally, now when it restarts completely what we are going to do is be able to configure it. We are also going to tell you how we are going to remove. If you keep the Google account, with the security account we are going to explain. Comma. What? Video tutorial is since this always usually takes 2 to 3 minutes. As we can see our device already restarted quickly. Well what we are going to click here on B. We click here, we are going to click. We will be able to configure it quickly. Configure it. Now we are going to click here on B. We click here on skip. Accept. We click here to accept. Skip. We click on accept so we will quickly be able to configure what our device is. Since if you are left with if you have the screen lock and you have what? 
is the Google account you will be able to uh, recover your device that easy and simple. As we can see we have already completely recovered what is our device. But let's say that if you are left with the Google account, with the security account in the description of the video, and in the comments we have a method to be able to solve it.